I'm Dr. Christopher Wiles. I'm here with Gus Mazaka at the Musculoskeletal Institute at UConn. We're going to be going over how to use this face frame exoskeleton, the CEG Extreme. What are the design features? You've got these flaps that come down but still remain flexible enough to conform to multiple size faces and shapes. They also block airflow, and then you have spikes. These will allow you to fold over the material and press it over these to hold it in place. If you bend these in, you'll get a much better seal against your face. This does maintain its form, but you can hit this with a hair dryer as well, or, right, or do this right as it comes off of your hot plate of your 3D printer. But and that's can, also why we made it pliable, so it's not thick. Right. If you make it too thick, it won't do this. Tie a knot in either end of the tourniquet that you've cut into thirds. Now the piece you're going to cut is 18 by 20 inches, and that's going to be in the direction of 20 being vertically on your face. And what's the material, Chris? This is Halyard H600 operating room tray wrap over the installation of the Halyard H600 material. You can take this, press it over, take this one, press it over, take a strap. And the knots are on the outside, correct? Yeah, the knots are on the outside. And then the last one, same thing, come up from below, slide into the notch. Now this way you can put just one strap over your head. Makes a good fit. This can either sit in front of your chin or below, depending on the height of your face. This can wrap around. You find the slot, and it's in. Turn to the side. Turn to the other side. Move your head up and down or all around. You can also wipe your mask uh, frame down with bleach. Take this, dip it in alcohol, sterilize it and then put a new sheet on it. If you're in a COVID ward and you have this on with a face shield over it, you can go room to room if that's your hospital policy. You can have multiple sheets in your pocket so between cases or between patients you can just put a new sheet on. In the file pack a shorter face version but if you need to customize further you can use your slicer software such as Ultimaker or Cura to change the dimensions width or height however you need for your application or your face. In a few days, this may begin to cause irritation on your nose, if not sooner. There have been multiple fixes I've seen people doing using Metplex or a Band-Aid. I found that you can take a piece of a glove and you can press this on the bridge of your nose, have it just pressed in like that. You still get a good seal and that kind of takes a lot of the edge off without having something sticky that can pull your skin off. The key, the wrist area of the glove on the spikes. So for the people with glasses, sometimes that can distort the nose. So you put the rubber band here. You tighten in the nose, which works quite well. And if that's not enough, you can add an additional rubber band, and it really does make a better seal on the nose. I want to outline three additional applications for this mask. One, if you have an N95 that doesn't fit your face properly, as in it's too big, this can help create a seal around the edges by pressing in the N95 to your face more. Two, if you're making homemade masks, hopefully you're not just using cotton, you're using cotton and say a vacuum cleaner bag or some other material that actually filters viruses. This can serve to actually make a seal around the edges so that all the air actually goes through that filter you made and doesn't leak around the edges. And three, if all you have access to is a surgical mask and you want one extra level of security knowing that all the air is actually passing through them, uh, this mask can be worn for that purpose too. So this is to make the surgical mask fit a little tighter. Look to the other side. Other side. Look up. Though just know this does not replace an N95 and always use at your own risk. option is adding some tape to the rim of the nose or play-doh around the edges. Please get creative and let me know what worked for you and we can all share some information about what works best. Um, University of Florida. University of Florida. Florida. Yep, Great idea. idea. Yes. Great idea. Go Gators. Um, so we're really happy to be able to work with a lot of people on this and we want to get it out open source immediately and any revisions would be updated. Any ideas for anyone else would be welcome. Use this at your own risk and understand that nothing is a perfect replacement for a real mask, but we're just trying to do the best we can uh, to provide what we can as fast as we can to you.